good morning it is 9 26 we are just now getting able to move around we've had a sickness in the home this weekend so um i feel like before we even start homeschooling i need to clean and um, i'm gonna make the kids some muffins so if you enjoy day in the lives come along with this homeschool mama of five Hey guys, today I'm going to walk you through what a typical morning with us looks like. Be sure to stick around for lunch to see a cute, fun lunch idea. Today's scripture reading comes from Psalms chapter 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices. With my song, I will praise him. God, today I have your words to give back to you in prayer. You are my strength and my banner. You are my impenetrable shield. Your mighty power is no match for my enemies. It's light work for you and your heavenly hosts. My whole being trusts in you. I might have started out trusting you with shaking knees in the beginning because I don't have the foresight you do but I trust you with every detail in my life. My trust has moved to unwavering confidence. Because I trust you, you help me. Then I rejoice with thanksgiving all the days of my life. I gladly worship you. I gladly worship your son Jesus who died on the cross for my sins so selflessly and who is seated at your right hand interceding on my behalf. I thank you for your Holy Spirit who resides within me. The joy you offer stands the test of time and can never be taken away. I give your Holy Spirit permission to spark joy in my life. Let it ignite my home and in others around me. Praise Abba. Praise Jesus. Praise Holy Spirit. Alleluia. Amen. So Samari's sleeping. The kids are finishing up their muffins. I think Jessie's already done. She's holding Samara while I do this. So I figured while I do a light beat, we could talk. Um, I feel like probably three years ago, I was on a prayer line in the, it was for families. Um, it was by Dr. Faith's church, Legacy Center Church. And one day, um, I think it was for women. I don't know what day it was, if it was just for like the family as a whole unit. But one of the women, she was saying, you know, like, um, you know, motherhood doesn't have to be hard. And I got to thinking and I was, uh, my daughter asked me the other day, she was like, is it hard taking care of two babies? And I was like, you know, there are days, but not really. And then everyone on social media, they always say how much of an um, inspiration I am. I make it look easy. But, and I was like, do I, am I lying to people? Because that's not something I want to do. But I do want to make it known that, like, you know, I have hard days. But at the end of the day, right, at the end of the day, mother motherhood parenthood it doesn't have to be hard because you know if you serve the god that i serve he wouldn't give us something that we weren't graced for so when i say that that means you know especially when i have those hard days i have to remember like he's graced me for this um and the, even yesterday my three-year-old was throwing up everywhere pooping everywhere i mean but I know the old me, I probably would have had like a meltdown. And I wanted to have a meltdown because there was one time, one point in the day where the twins was crying. Benny was wanting me, you know, and like the other two, you know, the, 
they're fair five and eight. So they know when to like get gone. And I've been praying lately just in general, you know, for God to help me find moments where we're like having fun. And I know that I'm in like the training season of my kids um, where we're not always gonna be able to have fun. But at the end of the day, like, I keep saying at the end of the day, let's count how many times I say at the end of the day. <laughs> um, we, you know, the twins were a little upset. My husband was helping me with them and Donovan was playing and I just started playing like ninja with him. And him and Jesse and ben, um, Benjamin was, I think he's either sleeping or laying down because you know, he wasn't feeling. And that was like a happy moment for us. It was just a moment. And we haven't had just moments where I've been able to giggle and laugh with them. Um, it's just been mostly about homeschooling, taking care of the home, taking care of the twins, like just getting through the day. But I've been praying. I want more moments like that. Like every day is not going to be happy-go-lucky and joyous and, you know, so perfect. But that was a really good time. And, yeah, so leave your thoughts in the comments about how you feel about motherhood. Um, I mean, yeah, there's lots to complain about There's and there's lots to be joyous about. And um, I remember when the pandemic started, I did um, a unit with our church kids via Zoom about think on those things that are good, uh, admirable, all that, like a list of those things, love. And um, that's this is what I'm in in that season, like to just think on those things because you could think about a lot of things and go real south. You know what I mean? Go real south. So, um, Being optimistic is not just like a worldly thing. Looking at, um, what is the word? Like? Looking at the glass, glass half full as opposed to half empty. That is a, um, a great outlook to have on life. And it trains your mind to not be um, in the dumps and being negative. So yeah, what are your thoughts about motherhood? I mean, and probably if you're watching this, you're a mom or a dad or a homeschooler. Um, and you have your hard moments too, right? And you have your seasons. So yeah, that's my TED Talk for today. Okay, so um, in the early video, I was talking about how I'm in a training season with the kids. Um, so I'm going to actually um, help, we'll walk Jessie through how to clean the window. She's been doing this chore, um, not consistently for the last month. So on Mondays, um, I want to have her do the windows, but they've been turning out worse than how they <laughs> were before she would like cleaned it. Um, so it's just the season that we're in where it's going to be a slow morning because I want it done right. If I have to go back and do it after her, then what's the whole point? So, um, this might be a chore that we stick with the whole week. We'll see how we, um, how we do today, but I want to just take the time to teach her how to do it correctly so that no one has to go up after her or I don't have to like re, you know, teach her how to do it like this is it <laughs> guys bible calendar our morning song prayer what else did we do months of the year days of the week 
Um, the Apostles Creed, name writing, and then um, <clears throat> we worked on colors, letters, numbers, shapes. And then while we did the second part, um, Jesse worked on, she has like a different morning thing to do. And it's just like a morning work thing that yes. I found on Teachers Pay Teachers. Yes. Um, so this is what she completed. And it's good for her. It reviews um, writing her name, the date, counting, stop, number families, um, missing numbers, writing the time, diagraphs. Um, so it's a little bit of literacy in there. Um, writing a number or color, like today she had to do a, read a color. Then she has to find the error in writing the date. And then she has to cut and paste a sentence in the correct order. Um, so that also was some literacy, some grammar. Because um, I was just talking to her about how, okay, so we know the ending has to have a punctuation mark. We know the beginning has to have a capital letter. And then we start reading the sentence to see what makes sense and things of that nature. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and think about subscribing to my channel. It's 11.53. I'm about to start some lunch. And yeah, that's our morning. Have a great day. And don't forget to drink your water and repent. Bye. Mm -hmm.